For years, South Lake sat behind a locked fence and was inaccessible to the public. Now, it's been turned into a beautiful 10-acre park filled with wildflowers and animals. This little oasis here tucked in the hills. Chris Robbins is the conservation supervisor for the Vallecitos Water District. The man-made South Lake was used as a reservoir for the district for many years until it was decommissioned in 1984. It's been... Uh fenced off for years. And so there's a vast quantity of wildlife in the area. We just had a, a vulture fly over us. In 2005, San Marcos entered into an agreement with the Water District to turn the lake into a park. The city had some big plans with their redevelopment funds to make a boat dock and make some real extensive amenities. But the state canceled the redevelopment funds in 2010 because of a budget deficit stymieing the project for years. The park finally opened last month. This is first phase of it, so there is uh, more to come at some point in time. Rebecca Jones is the mayor of San Marcos. She says the park feels more like a nature preserve than a city park. There's a lot of wildlife uh, that naturally occurs, and we do like to keep that as uh, natural as possible. And, you know, there, you can find a lot of different animals out here. Uh, there are lots of birds, roadrunners, probably geese that will end up uh, being in the, in the lake. And lots of fish. Because of the loss of the funding, the city has to scale back some of its plans, such as a fishing dog. But fishermen here don't seem to mind. Patrick Cannon started fishing there when the park opened. He heard about the spot from a friend who lives in the area. I've caught one or two every time I've came. He thinks the park could use some amenities, but it's still a great place to bring the family. People should just come check it out and bring your kids, family, walk your dog, do a little fishing. It's a cool area. The park opens from sunrise to sunset. In San Marcos, Alexander Nguyen, KPBS News.